What's up everybody? This is George. I'm an 80s Transformer fan. Welcome back to another tour review. And I'm excited because I, I get to do what I love to do. What I tried to start my channel on. Um, comparison reviews. And I love comparison reviews because of the fact that when I was younger, I thought I knew everything it was to know about Transformers. Then um, I became an adult collector and, you know, internet, able to read more, find out more. Then I got to find out all these variants existed and all these different Transformers. Toys are only available in Europe. Toys are only available in America. So when I started my channel, I tried to base it on toy versus toy, variants versus variants. And I kind of got away from that just because of the nature of the reviews I was doing, but I get a chance to do it again. I get a chance to put these three guys, all three of these guys are Transformers G1 Cyclonus, and all three of these guys have differences. And I'm going to talk about those today. And I'm going to start with the first Cyclonus I purchased. I purchased this guy over 10 years ago, and he's the standard Cyclonus. And as a kid, I thought this guy was the only Cyclonus. He's missing some stickers. Well, he's missing most of his stickers. And um, I got this guy real cheap. I think the guy he wanted like 30 bucks for it. He wanted to let me get it for 20 bucks like over 10 years ago. The figure itself is very clean. He has some rust on some of the screws, but uh, not too bad as um, far as scuffing and scratching. It's a pretty good figure for our Cyclonus. And um, Cyclonus was one of those guys from the 1986 movie. And a lot of people debate whether or not he's actually Bombshell or Skywarp. And to me, he's Skywarp. And that's that's uh, kind of a, a issue for another tour review, but this is Skywarp. And Scourge is Thundercracker. But Scourge, Thundercracker actually died, and Skywarp wasn't dead when he was reformatted. And this guy is Skywarp. And he's supposed to have Skywarp memories. Anyway, that's another long discussion. But here he is, and this is the figure that I knew uh, from my childhood most of my life until I became an adult. And uh, later on, as an adult collector, I found out that the very first run, in order to give him more detailing from the simple scope, they added more paint apps to sort of uh, give him a more defined head. And also down here, the blue, they call it the blue ear cyclonus. And he goes for a little bit more money. And they gave him the blue paint here to sort of break up his waist on, on what is kind of a, uh, I don't say dull figure, but this is not a lot going on as far as uh, sculpted detailing with this guy. So this was the blue ear Cyclones. And I got this guy. I wasn't going, I wasn't out to collect all these guys. I was, I was perfectly happy with this dude. And, uh, then later on, I saw this guy. I know this guy can go for anywhere between 50 to like 100 bucks on a good day, depending on his condition. This guy has some heavy sticker wear. The Decepticon symbol is all but gone. And he's a little beat up, but um, a couple of repro labels, which I've been meaning to get, would take care of this guy. No problem. But um, I saw this guy ending one day at like maybe 20 bucks and I was totally not really interested in them. I was satisfied with this version and uh and I do what I call a hater bid if I know something is worth a hundred bucks and it's ending very low I'll bid on it just to grab it and maybe recycle it re resell it so um anyway I got this guy for under 30 bucks and I was able to add to my collection and um and I kept it in my collection and I'm happy I got it and this is the blue ear version. And we come over here to the more commonly known variant, which is the Target Master version. This is Target Master Cyclonus from the 1987 series. Much better stickers on this guy. He's in way better condition. Subticon logo looks better. And here he is with his actual Target Master where his gun transforms into a robot. And here are these three guys. Now, far as I can tell, other than the paint, these two guys have a molded wing difference. Like he has these two slots in here, which this version doesn't have. 
and that's the only other physical difference. The, the two grays on the face are slightly different. And I never know if my camera can actually see it until I watch it back, but here are the two faces. The paint apps on the eyes are pretty much identical. And you come over to the Target Master version, and these two guys share the same grooves in the wings. I'm not quite sure what that's about. Unless it locks in better on the shoulder. And those are the only other true physical difference differences I can see. Also, while I'm talking, uh, the first guy I bought, bought like a little toy show. He came. I have his uh, tech spec. Here is Cyclonus tech spec. You can pause it and read that. And you might want to pause it and read it because the Target Master version is actually different. Now I'm going to come over here to his strength and weaknesses, which is very interesting. This version of Cyclonus, the standard version of Cyclonus, has a strength level at an 8. He has intelligence at an 8, speed at a 9, his endurance is at an 8, his rank is a 9, his courage is a 9, his firepower is an 8, and his skill is an 8. Very, very, very high numbers. So, real quick, I'm going to come over here. Here is the bio for the Target Master version. You can pause this and read this because it's different than the first version. Okay, anyway, I'm going to come over here to the bio. Hopefully, you paused and read that. Now, over here, his strength is a 9. His intelligence jumps to a 9. His speed is over a 10. I mean, that's he got to have the highest speed of any tech spec that I've paid attention to. Then his endurance falls to a 6. His rank plummets to a 7. His courage is way past a 10. His firepower, he, even though he gets a target master, his firepower plummets to below a 5. And his skill drops to uh, like a 5.5. So, uh... Teaming up with the target master kind of screwed this guy. I mean, he his speed is off the charts now. I don't understand that. I don't know if they paid attention when they did it, but very interesting. And the booklet for the standard Cyclonus. And again, I bought this booklet a little bit later. So I'm sure, uh, I'm not sure if it's the same for both of these guys, but I'm, I'm, I think it is. So the sticker sheet, the gun, the figure, the transformation, very short booklet. Transformation and the word apply to stickers and nothing really out of the ordinary in that thing. Scoot this guy over. I'm gonna bring forth the Target Master version. And I have his booklet. Book a uh, slightly different color, which has the gray in here, and it's all pink and purple here with the white. It folds out, shows you the Target Master, the sticker sheet, the Target Master transformation where he just folds over. Shows you he plugs into the top. There's another physical difference I'm going to get to in jet mode. Shows you the transformation. Shows you can put the gun in his hand. Wow and the stickers and where you can apply them so this is the target master cyclonus booklet for target master cyclonus i have his catalog that came out with his 1987 series guy which is a pretty cool series guy autobot logo the little digital behind it and we get the great fortress maximus a lot of people's grail piece and again, with this catalog, you love to see like the prototype figures. Like the, these headmasters canopies are not translucent; they're painted over, which is probably just early uh, models done. Taking a look at these guys, you got other Target Masters, you got Skylinks, Aerobots, Metroplex, Technobots, garbage Throttlebots. Over to the back, 
if some kid actually checked off the list whoever owned this it would be ironic if this guy's watching this video right now six shot sweet figure i'm still trying to complete all six six shots i got about four or five of them now so i can display them like this Trypticon, other decepticon target masters the prototype scorponok with the gray um, excuse me not gray the green helmet and the green guns on them and the green what's his name fast track whatever his little car guy is the green version of him and the purple and gray zerk yeah, I, I should love looking at this and seeing the damn variants, which is not good. I still wish I can get these uh, prototypes and variants. But there is his catalog. Quick look at that. Trip down memory lane for everybody. Okay, one more physical difference. The purples are, all three purples are different. Like this guy, purple. The, uh, the first version is a little bit darker than this version. And the Target Master version is a lot darker than both so you can see that kind of bunch them in together hopefully you can see the way it transitions this guy the standard the non-painted version is the lighter of the three it kind of goes from here to here to here as far as the color changing even though they were released in this order also the guns Most of the gray on the body is identical, but the guns, this is a lighter gray than this. So the older guy has the, the deeper, richer colors out of these two. And of course, this Cyclone is, I believe his name is Nightstick. Hope I'm not messing up because I didn't check it out before I did this review. Nightstick. And again, whoever owned it put a, a Decepticon logo on it. This is kind of cool. This is Nightstick. He has no articulation other than the transformation. And he pretty much comes loose. I'm trying to flip him over. A lot of these Target Master were made pretty bold. I'm lucky he doesn't break at the waist like some of them. But this is Cyclonus Target Master partner, Nebulon partner, Nightstick. Okay, I got two of these guys transformed off camera to save some video, some time. And I'm going to transform the last guy, which is the Target Master version, on camera. You just turn his hands, you fold them up. G1, very simple, very, very simple transformation. Hold his wings out. And believe it or not, this guy was one of the better done guys as far as uh, articulation, which I forgot to get to. I'll get to that. Um... In this version, he actually snaps together better than the other two. You take his Target Master again, you fold him up, and his Target Master just sits on top. Now, this Target Master has to be one huge guy because in jet mode, Galvatron can sit in this cockpit. So he's probably like Devastator size in this mode. And this guy is, is probably in the best condition out of the three I own. And he's like I said, he's a very good figure. Uh, pulls out a pretty good, convincing space jet, Cybertronian jet, or Unicronian jet mode. Um, except for the fact his knees are just are just tucked right under there. But uh, it's a pretty cool figure. Really dig it. Dig the uh, Decepticon purple he has on his gang bang colors. He's wearing his team colors. Oh, and the um. The landing gear, the feet just fold down to the wheels and you press here, it releases the front landing gear from his chest. And again, not bad looking. And here are the three of these guys, side by side by side. And again, you can see the color differences from one to the other. This guy, my, I gotta get this guy some stickers because uh, these stickers are pretty bad. I can live. Well, no, I guess I can't. This Decepticon sticker is pretty bad here. Yeah, this guy can use some repro labels. And um, he has some factory dating here. Hasbro 1986, the car company. 
1986 Japan. That's what this guy has on him. Pretty much the same thing. It, it, this guy actually says Taiwan instead of Japan. Interesting there. And this one. This one actually says 1986 Hasbro Takaku. So all three of these guys came from somewhere different. Wow. Something else I never knew. That's why I love doing comparison videos going head to head. And you can see the ear paint apps carry over to here. That's not present here or on the other jet. Something else I don't, I, I have never known why this wing piece is articulated. I have no damn clue because it, it really serves no function in robot mode or this mode but I'm sure there's a reason behind it and if anybody know please let me know the only thing about this guy in jet mode over time these legs would come loose and just won't stay up this guy is a lot better here though and also these guys carry the rub symbol all of these guys have the rub sign you can all right, this one's actually working fast for me. Decepticon there, authentic product. Get these guys back in robot mode real quick. All right, got these guys back into their robot mode. And I uh, guess it doesn't matter which one to grab. I'm going to grab the blue ear guy and try to go over articulation. Now, wait, I'm going to take a look at this face cup. I love this evil, evil face in there. Um, anyway, nothing moves at the head, even though they probably could have worked something in there. Shoulder 360s. If you move the wing, he has an elbow bend, and I don't know what this is uh, a forearm bend because of the transformation. Nothing at the waist, but his leg can come up this far, and he sort of kind of has a knee bend. As weird as it is, he's probably leaps and bounds of most over most G1 guys, and he has a foot articulation because of the transformation. And he's probably leaps and bounds over the other guy as far as articulation, as weird as it is. And also, I spoke about not knowing what this does. Only thing I can think of, I've seen the prototype pictures for this guy. And uh, he had a fist that actually extended out of here. And on this version, they've kind of molded the end of the arms to be his fist. And then you got like this giant space, which is kind of shitty but he used to, he actually the prototype had a fist that, that extended out and maybe this moved out of the way to allow it to extend i don't know i'm not sure but the prototype version was a lot better than this guy now if i got a picture i'll try to stick it in but i've seen the prototypes for cyclones and here are all three versions that i know of of Cyclonus. I hope you enjoyed this tour review. I hope it was informative. And this has been George, the 80s Transformer fan, letting you know I will see you soon. Cyclonus, the warrior, and his armada. Scourge, the tracker, his huntsman, the sweeps. Another quick thing of note, in Transformers the movie, there was a scene where Bombshell and S S Skywarp were transformed into Cyclonus. And there were two Cyclonuses. And most people think, because of Transformer history, that that was a mistake. It was not a mistake. There were going to be multiple Cyclonuses, Cycloni, Cyclones, just like there were multiple scores, like with the sweeps. And at some point during production, they thought it was a bit much having multiple Cyclonuses and multiple sweeps. And they kind of just dropped the multiple Cyclonus. And the only shot they had left with just with two or less in it was the shot we see in the movie. So they kind of just left it there instead of fudging out one Cyclonus. But um, there was supposed to be 
more than one cyclonus. It wasn't just a mistake. It may have been a mistake or lazy that it was left in. And another thing that people don't know that the, the, the clones of Scourge and Cyclonus were meant to be like half the size. They were like, like Unicron says, these shall be your minions. They were like literally supposed to be half the size and like little bitty pesky minions. And somewhere in between the, what they call it, the script treatment and the final script and then the animation, that was kind of lost, which is kind of cool because it's cool to have like the full size sweeps, but they were going to be half the size guys. And if you didn't know, now you know. Another thing of note in comparison to these guys, Target Master handhold is too big to hold this gun and vice versa the hand over here is too small to hold this gun so it's more than just the uh the hole in the back difference is also the hole in the hand is different and the body the color of the body probably prevents swapping the two out because they don't match up and then again, it could be just mine, but these are the differences that I have noticed.